Hey YouTube, Motor Racing Network, Steve Post here, and we have another great collection of new die cast in from Lionel. Now, if you look at the table, it's bare. Well, as you're viewing this, I am in Daytona, getting ready for the Daytona 500. But, back at Plan B Sales, which is here where we're recording this, they are receiving all kinds of new inventory. So through the magic of file sharing, I know, it's confusing. Hey, how about this? Let's take a look at all the latest diecast that has just been received at PlanBSales.com. So those are the latest die-cast cars received at Plan B Sales, and all of those great cars are available at your local die-cast dealer or at planbsales.com. Now, stay with us. The Post Show is coming up next. It's time for the post show here on our diecast review show on Plan B Sales and PlanBSales.com. We love, love, love taking your questions. We love chatting. We love talking racing. Face it, we're race fans just like you are, and we sit around and talk NASCAR racing 24-7. The only time we take off is when we talk drag racing or sprint car racing. That's about it, but we talk racing all the time. So let's get to your questions. Mark Jeff, 531, writes in, how do you think Dylan Kwasniewski will do in his first full-time season in Nationwide. And you know, he's with a good team, which is a great thing. He's got a lot of experience for a young man, which is a great thing. So I think he's going to have a good rookie season. Is he going to run for the championship? I don't think so. I could be wrong. He's very talented. But I think he will have a very strong rookie year and really look forward to see what he can bring in the second half of the season as he gets his arms around these NASCAR Nationwide Series cars. 48 fan from Kentucky writes in and says, do you think people will like the three car returning to NASCAR and why? You know, it's a great debate. And Richard Childress, when he announced that the three car was coming back, back in December, he said, there's some people that are just not going to like this. And we've actually had some comments here of some people don't like it. Reality of it is, like it or not, the three car is coming back. Richard Childress's point, and I think that's a very valid point, is that the three car has been around before Dale Earnhardt made it famous. In fact, Buddy Baker was at the press conference where they announced that the three car would be back, and Buddy Baker has won a race in a three car before Dale Earnhardt ever climbed aboard it. NASCAR's policy and policy in our sport is not to retire numbers, so I think more fans like having the three back on the race car or on the racetrack 
but there are some that certainly do not. Numbers are a big thing for folks, and I've got to be honest here, numbers don't mean much to me, but remember a few years ago when Dale Jr. was going from the 8 to the 88, and how everyone was twisted up about numbers, we were doing shows on Sirius about what to do with 8 tattoos. Now, Dale Earnhardt Jr., I I'm, I'm serious, we did a show on Sirius NASCAR Radio about what you can do with your 8 tattoos. So, numbers are important to people. You folks that follow the three, I know, I understand that, and I know some are very disappointed. I'm not a huge number guy, numbers guy, and I can't wait to see that three card back on the racetrack. Original Big Bry. There we go. Original Big Bry writes in and says, What are your thoughts on NASCAR's new changes to qualifying, the chase format, and penalties? Well, let's deal with them in that order. Qualifying, I think it's fantastic. I don't know if you've sat through single car qualifying runs, if you have, bless you, because it just has never been all that compelling or exciting. Yeah, sometimes something will happen on the racetrack, or sometimes a cloud will come over, or sometimes on a short track someone will jump a curb or something, but really, it's pretty, pretty tame. Not anymore. Now with the new format we have, it's going to be very interesting. The strategy, the way this plays out, the knockout format is going to be very, very exciting. Second part of it, the chase format, and I'll tell you, it is a drastic change. And I know a lot of people don't like change. Sorry, we've got change. Now, I particularly like what we see because we are going to see, A, the focus on winning. And I understand winning in the chase, but winning before the chase. Win the Daytona 500, and you're likely in the chase. Win at Phoenix, you're likely in the chase. And that's beautiful for those folks who are at the racetrack that day. Shelled out their money, see your man go for the win, I think that's what NASCAR is appealing to, and I think the winning portion of it is exciting. 16, down to 12, down to 8, down to 4, that's just going to be wild, watching people transfer, going for the wins, people getting bumped out, desperate moves, I think it's going to make for some exciting finishes to the races, and Homestead Miami, we only need to look back to 2011, when Tony Stewart and Carl Edwards went toe-to-toe -to -toe for the championship, we're going to have four of them doing it, and what compelling, exciting drama that is going to be. So I'm in favor of it, but I'm a guy that gets to talk about it, be at the racetrack, and I want to cover stories, and I want to cover excitement, and I want to cover that drama, and we certainly are going to have that throughout this year as well. And finally, the question is on penalties. You know, NASCAR has stated what the penalties are, and I found it real interesting to read along with them and see. I just hope we don't spend much time talking about it. I, I can take or leave what they've done. It doesn't phase me all that much. I just hope we don't spend much time talking about penalties so we can talk more about the great racing at the racetrack. So there you have it, your post show here on our Diecast Review Show for Plan B Sales. Keep those questions coming in right down below here on YouTube. Write in your questions and we'll answer them on a future edition of the post show. We love that you guys are getting involved with us here on YouTube. We have the comments below. Feel free to mention your comments here. Follow us on Twitter, at Plan B Sales, and we'll keep you informed on what we have. And please get some back and forth conversation going because we love talking racing and love talking with you race fans out there, and we appreciate the business you do give us.